Okay, hi there. So in this video, I'm gonna sort of compare between iOS and Android. Uh, this is just a little app that I made. All it does is quiz you on CSS colors. I wrote it on Android, so this one here, and this is kind of this is what it looks like on iOS. Then, so you'll see there's some significant differences. Um, and if you're trying to release to both platforms, you need you definitely need to be looking at both of the, while you're developing. Um, okay, so what it is here just says, what is Misty Rose? I'm not really sure. I click it. If I get it right, then I keep going. Uh, if I get it wrong or the timer goes out, it'll say you lose like that. Uh, Navajo White, maybe this one. Nope, wrong. So every time I get it right, if I can get a single one right. Nope, again, wrong. Indigo. Okay, there. So my timer will go up by one and my streak will go up by one, but then the timer keeps going. So now I'm at streak two. Orchid, uh, so it's pretty hard. Some of them look a lot. Anyway, so that's the app. Uh, I'm gonna show you the code for it. There is a bug where if I just let this sit at you lose for, I don't know, a minute or something, and then I try to click it again, it'll crash. Uh, also, another bug here on iOS, if I, rather than clicking try again, if I slide it down like this, um, it's lagging a bit, but if I slide it down rather than clicking try again on iOS, this modal, I slide it, then it won't start the timer again. Whereas here on Android, I can click outside of the modal and it'll start again. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the code, show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna do any typing, so um, let me know if this is useful or not, just talking about the code here. So here I have a page, this is the full page. Uh, I've got my CSS, just uh, some normal CSS stuff. One thing you should be aware of is you just use a single number rather than pixels for um, uh, for different sizes. That is the recommended approach. You can do pixel, but if you do pixel, then you're gonna get really weird different sizes on different phone screens. So this is kind of a, um, what's it called? Independent pixel. Uh, so that's what you're gonna do. Okay, and then here is the script down here. So I'm using the show modal function from Svelte Native, and then that shows a modal um, right here, and I pass it page is lose page, which is defined up here just in the same uh, folder. Okay, so the show modal, you import that to show the modal, then lose page from there on tap, close modal. So import close modal from Svelte Native, and then on tap, close modal, and then you can even pass some information back to the parent. Um, you can look that up on the Svelte Native documents. Okay, so here another useful thing that I think is this grid layout. So to get this kind of square, let's see if it crashes. Oh, no, cool. So to get this kind of square look like that, um, you can use a grid layout. The grid layout is set to width 100%. And then here you define column and row, how long they should be. By using these stars, it kind of just fills up the full space like that. Um, and then to define each label, inside of the grid. So I have one, two, three, four labels. Um, then you do zero, row zero, column zero, row zero, column one, row one, blah, 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 like that. And then you can define on labels an on tap function, which will say choose color zero, color one, color two, color three, like that. And the, the background color is the this color. So colors is a, right here, it gets defined whenever a randomize is run. And it is from all colors, a random int of all colors dot length. Okay, so up here I have all of the colors in CSS in a single array like that. And um, this random int, well, random int function is just what you would think it is. It just returns a random integer up to this number, uh, not inclusive. So uh, this will give you four different colors in the colors array. And then target color, the one that you are trying to get, the one that it's prompting you for, what color is wheat or what color is gold, that is gonna be a random color from inside here. So this gets four random colors and target color gets takes a random one from here. Okay, so that's the randomize function. That's how every time it gets loaded, it shows the prompt and the four different colors. So here streak is just zero, time is set at 10. Whenever you get one right, it'll increase streak by one and it will subtract, or uh, sorry, 
and it will add one to time. So uh, you'll see here, choose. So that's the function that gets run when a label is clicked. On tap, choose color. Um, that will, if the color equals the target color, add one streak, add one time, and then it'll randomize again. And if you get it wrong, it'll be the lose function. So in randomize, is just this. So it reloads the page, or it re uh, kind of sets it up for you in a random way. Okay, so the lose function. So we've done choose function, randomize function. Here we have the lose function. And when you lose, it resets the time to 10. It resets your streak to zero. It clears this interval. So the time is just going down, set time interval. Uh, every thousand seconds, time gets subtracted by one. This is probably not a good way to do it. Um, Although saying that, I don't know what the better way to do it is, but I suspect this is why my uh, my app crashes sometimes. But this is the only way I can figure out how to do it, so this is what I did. So if time equals zero, then you're also gonna lose. So it just does a check that if it goes down to zero, then they lose. Okay, and it, this set timer interval, this returns whatever this returns, so that you have an interval ID so that you can clear it. Okay, so in this lose, clear interval, interval ID, so that the timer stops, and then you await show modal. So this is, and this has to be async function because it has an await inside. So this show modal, um, you just pass it page and then the name of the page, but you need to import that page up here. That'll show the modal. And this just awaits for the modal to be closed. Okay, so it's awaiting for this modal to be closed, which I can do by clicking try again, or I can click outside of it. Um, oops, I keep getting it right. Or I can click outside of it. I guess you can't see, but I clicked outside of it. And that will also work. Though on iOS, for whatever reason, if I swipe down, then it freezes like this. So just to be aware of that. Okay, then it randomizes everything, and then it resets the timer like that. And that's pretty much everything. Um, trying to see if there's anything else. So here is the page. This is all the HTML of the page. This is the style. So if you just want to like copy this into your own project, this is the style. Maybe I can make a GitHub repository. And then this is the script. So all of that, all of the colors are in there. Color, 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 choose, 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 randomize, all that. And then this is the loose page. OK, so that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon if you would consider becoming one. That helps a ton. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is that NativeScript has these CSS themes. And so this button here is um, class-primary. And that'll be a primary button then, CSS theme. Um, and there's lots of different things you can do with these. Um, so you can look into that. Okay, and...